While Edward Snowden's bountiful NSA leaks are far from over, at least according to Glenn Greenwald, Greenwald is the former Guardian journalist responsible for breaking the NSA surveillance story, and he says there are indeed more damning documents to be released. Only this time, it'll be about our neighbor to the north, Canada. Recently, Greenwald spoke to the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation's radio station. Take a listen to what he said. The documents are quite complex. There are a lot of them. There is enormous amounts of reporting to do um, in Canada. One of the most active surveillance agency countries in the world because of how closely they work with the NSA. Greenwald also took the opportunity to respond to claims that publishing the classified government documents harms people. I think not publishing the leaks puts people in danger because when you have a system of government in which people can exercise great power in the dark, that's what is dangerous. I was joined earlier by Steve Anderson, executive director of Open Media, to talk about just how that power in Canada is being exercised and what we can expect out of these leaks. I first asked him to tell us about how the Canadian and American security agencies share that information with one another. Yeah, well, the, Canada and the U.S. are part of what's called the Five Eyes Network, um, and it's it's a very secretive. But what we do know is that several countries, uh, the spy agencies of several countries, including Australia, the, U, the U.K., New Zealand, Canada, and the U.S., um, they all share uh, data and information with each other. And, and we know that, for example, Australia um, has been used by the NSA to to, to do certain spying on on uh, certain individuals. Um, and we know that there's a lot of other cooperation there between uh, Canada and, and the U.S. And, and the other countries. Absolutely. And, and of course, the information that's collected is then shared with other agencies like the CIA. Uh, do the two countries work together in actually detaining U.S. or Canadian citizen, citizens abroad? Well, I mean, that, that's sort of the issue. I think but both with the NSA um, and with uh, in Canada, CSEC, um, both these agencies are really, they're secretive, um, they're expensive, and from what we're hearing with all these leaks from, from Snowden, um, they're really out of control. Um, and we have every reason to suspect that they do cooperate in that way in terms of apprehending people, um, and we know that they are definitely sharing data, but how deep that cooperation goes, um, we, we don't know, but I'm, I'm hoping that uh, new revelations coming uh, from Glenn Greenwald um, will shine some light on that activity because I think Canadians, uh, Americans, uh, people really around the world have a right to know um, what these spy agencies are doing um, and, and if they're violating our right to privacy and our basic freedoms. Sure. And, and in the United States, of course, there are the House and Senate intelligence committees that are supposed to oversee this kind of activity. What kind of oversight is there in the Canadian government and do you think it's effective? Uh, it's definitely not effective. There, there is a, a watchdog, but it's a very small office. And uh, this government watchdog has basically said that uh, they don't know um, if Canadians are being targeted or how many Canadians are being swept up in this secretive, uh, expensive spying. Um, and in fact, the two opposition parties have called for more oversight. The, the Liberal Party uh, here in Canada has just put forward a, a, a bill um, asking for uh, parliamentary oversight because really it, it's uh, a really small office and they have themselves uh, complained that they don't have an, enough access to information and they have called, the, the government's own commissioner uh, has called for more privacy safeguards and more oversight of, of uh, the government's spying activities. And Steve, how would you say um, Canadian citizens perceive the threat to their privacy? You know, how do you think they're really going to react to these upcoming leaks? Well, ju just recently, we put up a petition on our website at openmedia.ca, and, and what we saw was thousands of Canadians across the country in just a matter of days speaking out, calling on the government to create more oversight mechanisms uh, to protect their privacy. So I think Canadians are very upset. Um, and similar to the U.S., you know, in the U.S. there's this uh, really big kind of cross-partisan coalition called Stop Watching Us. Um, and in Canada, we have a, a similar coalition of groups from the right, the left, uh, you know, labor groups, um, right-leaning groups, uh, you know, LGBT groups, um, speaking out on this issue and, and joining with Canadians. So I think that as more revelations come out, 
more and more Canadians will be demanding answers. And, you know, I'm really, I hope that Rob Nicholson, who's the minister responsible for this, and Stephen Harper really come clean with Canadians and let us know how many Canadians are being swept up uh, in this dragnet surveillance, what information is being stored in giant databases, and um, how secure is that information. Sure, and it does seem to be a very bipartisan issue, unlike many others. Um, but, you know, you mentioned this. Vast pools of data are held by the Five Eyes, which, just so people know, is the U.S., Canada, U.K., Australia, and New Zealand. Do Canadians feel in some way that their relationship to these other countries is beneficial to them and their security? I think that from what I'm hearing, Canadians are really worried that we're being, you know, our spy agency, uh, CSAC, is being used by the NSA um, to, to collect information uh, and share information uh, with U.S. officials. So, I, I, you know, I, I think that we don't, the issue is we don't know how these uh, organizations are operating. We don't know how much of our information is being shared across borders in, in different databases. And, and I think Canadians are uh, mostly just concerned and, and want answers on that. Sure. And lastly, Steve, I wanted to go back to something Glenn Greenwald talked about in his CBC interview in response to the claim that these revelations would expose state secrets uh, to those involved with terrorism and therefore it would do more harm to national security than, than good. Take a listen to this. Terrorists have long ago known that the U.S. and U.K. governments do everything possible to monitor their communications. That's why Osama bin Laden used human couriers. We didn't tell the terrorists anything they didn't already know. What we've told people that they didn't already know are ordinary citizens around the world that this spying system is directed not at the terrorists but at them. So what do you make of the argument that the leak of this information could actually aid terrorists? Like, Do you agree with Greenwald and what he said on that? No, I, I think, yeah, I think Greenwald's absolutely correct. I mean, I, I, from what I've read and seen, the, uh, you know, terrorists and criminals have for quite some time known that they've been target of surveillance. They use encryption and dark net technology and couriers and whatever they can to get around it. Um, so I don't think it's new to, to those folks. I think it's, it's, like Greenwald said, it's new to, you know, law-abiding Canadians, law-abiding Americans, to know that there is a government agency that's collecting their sensitive private information. You know, we're talking about things like your, your prescriptions, your uh, phone records, where you are, where you're going, who you're friends with. The fact that that information is being collected and stored in giant, unsecured databases I think that is what is uh, news to Americans and Canadians and, and what is dangerous. I mean, if you look at Canada, we've had over 3,000 breaches of sensitive uh, citizen information in recent years, affecting 725,000 Canadians. And the fact that we're now having an agency collect even more information on us, um, it, I think it makes us less secure. I think it makes us more uh, exposed to cyber criminals. Um, to have this information collected. And, and really, at the end of the day, we have a right to know which information, um, how many of us are being, are being swept up in this giant dragnet surveillance. Sure. Well, it'll be very, very interesting to see what these upcoming leaks do reveal about Canada. Uh, I do appreciate you coming on and breaking down some of that for us. Steve Anderson, Executive Director of Open Media. Thanks for having me.